Hi, I'm Dave Forsyth, and this is episode 10 of our video series, Avid Tips and Techniques. Today I'm in Viaduct Harbour in Auckland, New Zealand, and as you can clearly see, the Kiwis are rather partial to a bit of sailing. So there were some pretty interesting transitions in that last segment, none of which you will find in the Avid Effect palette because I actually made them all myself from scratch. That might sound quite complicated, but it really isn't. All of these wipe patterns were built in Avid Marquee. Now I'm going to use the Raindrop Wipe, which is the one that starts with just one circle and then uses lots of them to complete the wipe. I ended up making eight different circles and animated them over five seconds at different speeds. My main goal was to have the entire screen covered in white by the end of the effect, so it ended up looking like this. So how does a bunch of expanding white circles turn into a wipe? Well the first thing I need to do is to get two shots in the timeline. I'm going to transition from the black yacht shot to the yacht stern shot. So the first shot is going to be the black yacht. So I've already marked it up and I'm going to overwrite it into my sequence. Now as far as the next shot is concerned, because this is a transition I need to make sure that I have at least five seconds of material at the head to create the effect with. So now that I've marked up this shot already, I will overwrite that into the timeline as well. Now obviously if the transition was going to be a different duration, you must leave yourself enough handles to cover it. Because the second shot comes in over the top of the first shot, I need to create a new layer for the title. So I'll use Control y to make a new video layer. Now I need to go and get the title from my titles bin. And here it is, it's called Circles. And there's that title that we saw before in Marquee. Now because I want all of it, I've actually marked an in at the beginning and an out at the end. And you can just do that with the T key or the Mark Clip key. In the sequence, I need to Control alt click near the cut to get to the tail frame of the black yacht shot. And mark an out point there. Now that I'm ready for my three point edit, I simply patch video one, which is my title, up to video two, which is my title layer, and overwrite. So this is what it looks like so far. So we have a bunch of white circles gradually expanding to cover the outgoing shot. Let's finish the effect by placing the incoming shot in the circles. Because a title is essentially a matte key effect, we can place video inside it to replace the white fill. First, I need to find the necessary part of the incoming shot. To do this, I need to park at the head frame of the incoming shot. So I'll control click near the cut point and then use match frame to bring this shot into the source monitor. And I can do that by right clicking on the video one button and choose match frame track. So that matches that frame. I now need to go backward one frame clear my in mark and now mark out. I now need to park somewhere inside the title. Now I'm going to replace the contents of the title with the incoming shot and I'm going to use nesting to do this. Now whether you prefer to use expanded nesting or simple nesting really makes no difference. But so you can see the construction of the title more clearly, I'm going to use simple nesting. To step into the title, I need to park on it, make sure that the title's layer is the topmost active layer and then use the step in button. Inside the title I find three layers. 
Video 1 is empty and should definitely be left that way. Video 2 contains the white fill and Video 3 contains the alpha channel. This is what cuts the hole so I must leave this alone. And you'll notice that the track is locked anyway so I couldn't even do anything to this track if I wanted to. To replace the fill I need to mark up the title, patch my source material to the fill layer and then do the overwrite. Now I can step out of the title, back up a little and drag through it. Now this will play in real time because it's essentially just a title. If you wanted the effect longer or shorter, you could simply reopen the title in Marquee, change the duration and resave it. Now one of the best things about this effect and all of the others in this series is that it does not require any third party applications. Everything is handled right inside the Avid. Now because both those shots are fairly busy, I'm just going to do something a little bit different here. Back in this bin, I've actually got a water texture. Now this is some water that I shot while I was on location. Just as some water in the sunlight. Now you'll notice as the effect progresses, the circles are immediately filled with the yacht coming over the top of the other yacht. A little bit too busy. So I'm going to do something here and that's, first of all, I'm going to step into the title mark an in point here and an out point on the next to last frame. I just need to leave one frame of the original shot in there because I'm going to place a dissolve and there has to be something of the original shot left even if it is only one frame. I'm going to mark an out point there and then overwrite my water texture into the title. Now of course if I monitor that layer it's just going to perform a cut so what I need is a dissolve. Now I want to take advantage of the fact that I've got 125 frames here and actually create a dissolve of 125 frames. I can do that with my quick transition button which of course opens up the quick transition dialog box and I've already got here a duration of 125 frames because I was playing a little bit earlier. Now that I've got that sorted out I can now add it and what I've got inside my title now is my water texture very slowly dissolving through to the yacht stern. Now I can step out of my title again, drag through it, and my black yacht has the circles coming up over the top of it, filled with water, but they're slowly dissolving through to the yacht stern. So by the time that I get to the end of the effect, the yacht stern is actually at 100%. What we've shown today is covered in even more detail in the MC305 Advanced Media Composer Effects course and the MQ201 Advanced Marquee course. You can get more information about our training courses and even register online at www.avap.com.au. Well, that's episode 10. Thanks to all of you for the wonderful positive feedback you've been giving me on this series. I'm very much looking forward to the next 10 episodes, and I hope you are too. Until next time, I'm Dave Forsyth. Cheers for now. Okay, I'm sorry about the star wipe. Someone dared me to do it, and you know how it is.